In this part of the lesson, we're looking at supplementary angles and linear pairs. So what are supplementary angles? They're two angles that sum to 180 degrees. Equations are made by adding both the angles and setting it equal to 180 degrees, basically the angle addition postulate. So sometimes we're going to ask you a weird question to say, find the supplement of an angle and it could have a variable in it. So I'm going to go ahead, this is a little harder than the normal supplement question, but it's something you might run into. So I'm trying to find the supplement of angle E and I'm going to call that angle S for supplement. Well I know if they're supplements they must add to 180. So I'm going to set up an equation, the measure of the supplement plus this angle E, 7x minus 12, is 180. Then I use um, and that's based on the angle addition postulate. One plus the other is 180. Well, I'm going to add 12 to both sides, and that's from the addition property of equality. I get measure of angle S plus 7X is 192. Well, I don't want the X over here. X is actually going to be part of the answer. So these are unusual. You're going to actually subtract 7X from both sides using the subtraction property of equality and you get the measure of the supplement is 192 degrees minus 7x. So again, when I ask you for a supplement but you don't have enough information to find the x, you're going to find um, really an expression. It's 192 minus 7x for the supplementary angle. Now linear pairs, um, this is a pair of adjacent angles that form a straight line. Okay, so they're touching and they form a straight line. The non-common rays, that would be this bottom part here and over here, are opposite rays. They start at the same point and go in opposite directions, creating a line. All linear pairs are supplementary because together they make a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So in this example, I want to find the measures of all the angles here. And I know these two are a linear pair you can see the straight line that's right here. So let me go ahead and highlight that. So there's a straight line right there. All right. Well, that means the two angles have to add up to 180. So I set up an equation. B minus 15 plus 2B plus 27 is 180. That's the angle addition postulate. Well, 3B plus 12 is 180. I combine like terms, the B and the 2B and the negative 15 and the positive 27. Subtract 12 from both sides using the subtraction property of equality. And I get 3B is 168. Then I can divide both sides up by 3 using the division property of equality. And I get B is 56. Now I can go back and find the angles. B minus 15, well I substitute in 56 minus 15, that gives me 41 degrees. And 2B plus 27, I substitute in 56, two 56's plus 27, or 112 plus 27, which is 139 degrees. In this example, um, we have multiple angles here. So I'm going to kind of use the, really the angle addition postulate. But there's something interesting to note. First of all, here's angle A, which is 2X plus 3. There's ACE. There's angle BCG, which is 5x plus 3. And then right there you see a 90 degree angle. All together they make a straight line, which means all together they add up to 180. So 2x plus 3 plus 5x plus 3 plus 90 is 180. All right, that's using the angle addition postulate. Combining my like terms, and you'll have to excuse the colors. For some reason, my PowerPoint's acting funny, and it's I try to do this in red, and that in green, and that in blue, and I didn't like it. All right, so I combine my like terms. 7x plus 96 equals 180. Subtract 96 from both sides using the subtraction property of equality, and I get 7x equals 84. Well, then I divide both by sides by 7 using the division property of equality, and I get x is 12. Now I can go ahead and substitute back in for ACE, putting in 12, and I get 27 degrees. I can also substitute in for BCG, putting in 12 for x, and I get 63 degrees. 
I know that that's 90 degrees. And you're going to learn a little bit more about vertical angles, but you'll find out that the 90 is also across the way, and the 63 is opposite, and the 27. So those are the measures of all the angles in that picture. So for th further reflection, what does it mean when two angles are supplementary? Well, basically, honestly, it means that they add to 180 degrees. And how do you set up an equation for a linear pair? Well, remember, the first angle plus the second angle must equal the total. And if it's a linear pair, the total will always be what?